Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your favorite Chess Journal YouTube channel. I hope everybody is doing great. Let's look for a game on Simple Chess. And we got a game. Uh, this is beginner opponent. Should we play? Okay, let's play D4. C6. I don't know. It, it allows us to play E4, right? But I think they're gonna play the Karo Khan. Okay, let's see. If they play Karakhan at this rating range, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. They probably uh, don't know much about the opening or they don't uh, study openings a lot. So, what we're gonna do is we're just simply gonna uh, stick to our method like setup based method. Like here, our bishop goes here, this bishop goes here. Play here, and that is a super weakening move. Why do you play this one, even if uh, you are you are a beginner? I'm just gonna grab space uh, by playing c4. So I don't know if this is a weird sort of Karakhan or something like that. Karakhan defense. Uh, in Karakhan defense, uh, you should play this one, this move, uh, the second move. A H5, uh, I don't know. Uh, I think we can attack the queen. Let's keep on playing simple chess, harassing the harassing the <coughs> uh, major pieces. Here, our opponent's queen is one of the major pieces. I mean, the bet. The major recipe is obviously. Uh, we get this squares uh, offer grab. Uh, like I said, that's a super weakening move when they play it here. Uh, that one is to guard this square. Now, how are they gonna stop us going there? Because if they go here, our bishop has an eye, right? So, yeah. Uh, I mean, look. If you are uh, if you are a beginner, you should know your opening um, a little bit, at least for at least ten moves, and then from then uh, from there on, try to build your games. We could just dive in here, but it doesn't make much of a sense. Instead, uh, what we can do, we can target this pawn because they cannot guard here. So let's target this one and uh, look for some sort of play here they are attacking our knight it's alright but we gotta check first we always look for check captures and threats before making our move so that's what happened here now they have lost their castling right and since now the knight is attack I think we can go here dive in here okay um, let's go there because this is a threat and so they have gotten rid of the threat uh, I don't like the Knight's positioning there so I'm just gonna play here by this knight should it happen so I'm just gonna pre-move this one I want them to capture us so we are not gonna capture here because that will allow them to um, improve their knight Now this one is a possibility. Uh, what can they play? It's tough to suggest a move other than uh, you know go after for a check. Well, they can play here. Yeah, that's what they have just done. So uh, it doesn't allow. Uh, it doesn't uh, stop us to give a check. 
So they gotta give up their rook, otherwise, yeah, otherwise we would have a discovery. So now we just simply uh, keep playing normal or simple chess. Now they have played d5. We have this on Passan, but I like these uh, the the controlling of this pawn here and this crucial uh, squares uh, in our opponent's camp. I'm just gonna stop their knights. Uh, should I do that now? Or should we play here? It looks cool. Let's play H4. So look at our opponent's position. I mean, they're crumbling. And like I said, I mean, you, you have to know your openings uh, at least for a few moves. So they are attacking our queen, but. We can go here, queen d3. Uh, here she's active. She could go here. Or a lot of squares. So let's see what they are going to play. This is a threat now, I'm taking capturing here. On the surface it doesn't look much, but they gotta think about what is our plan. Going uh, rook h8 is our plan. So they have pulled their bishop back, so now let's just simply grab this pawn, tag their knight. So knight jumped here, and uh, this is king. But that would allow them to give us a check, right? It's never too late to make a blunder. So I'm not gonna play f3 yet. So I'm just gonna play here, tag their dos bishop. I want them to play passive move like this one and then this one wins the bishop so they have to give up their bishop anyway so did you guys see that if, if I play f3 it looks on the surface it looks cool but uh, we always have to look uh, for opponents check this check is is super weakening I mean like after this check we only have to go here and then they go all sorts of play. Now this one uh, which okay so let's capture the knight um, they have got a little bit of activity I'm just gonna simply play queen e3, offering a queen trade. Notice that I didn't play it here because this pawn could fall in that process. So, how have you guys been doing? Hopefully, everyone is doing alright. Thanks for all the views. Uh, make sure to like this video and subscribe for more so they have pulled the queen back I'm sorry for the background noise it's my birds I'm just gonna capture there so they have liver this time I think uh, playing here makes sense because they're not attacking this pawn
this one or should we give it a check? Um, I think let's tag the queen once. Also, they develop the knight. So, what it does, it does it prep this one. Okay, let's leave a check first. And is there any checkmate anywhere? Is there any checkmate anywhere? Can you guys, uh, do you guys know any checkmate anywhere? There, that was the checkmate. So, yeah. Thank you guys for tuning in and that's all for today. Till the next time, take care of yourself. Bye bye.